I think the the Attorney General uh, Ellison spoke truthfully and candidly that justice has been moved forward, uh, but justice in terms of restoration of George Floyd's life, um, um, that's certainly not possible, but we need to commend and celebrate the wisdom and the courage of the jurors, the witnesses, uh, people all across this country who hoped against hope that justice would be brought about, at least to the extent it could be, uh, in this courtroom. So it's incredibly uh, important and powerful in this moment. And certainly the words of the president. It, I was going to say, it was, it was very powerful hearing from Felonis Floyd and the other members of the Floyd family, from the civil rights leaders who were there. Certainly very powerful hearing from the first black vice president of the United States and the president of the United States in their words. And in just a little while, we'll hear from Minneapolis Police Chief Arredondo. Uh, the, the Floyd family maybe was for one crowd, the president certainly for all of us. You wonder if Chief Arredondo might have something to say to police officers and chiefs across the country. I would think so, because this is a moment in which, think about it, President Biden, as someone who has strongly supported law enforcement and the reform of policing, he has spoken on behalf and to the George Floyd family. No, he closed his speech by saying, God bless you and God bless the Floyd family. I would think that Chief Arredondo has this moment, this opportunity to commend this act of accountability on behalf of the jurors with respect to Jarek Chauvin, but also to challenge policing in this moment, police officers in this moment all across this country to step up and stand alongside this community of conscience, mm. uh, citizens of conscience in this country who are calling for just and constitutional policing. Yeah. So this is an opportunity for the chief to do that. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.